Hi guys, welcome back to United Kingdom Crayfish Association's official YouTube channel. I'm Andy Mack, aka Mac of the Trapper. This is the second part of the molasses test, guys, okay? The test for using uh, black treacle as bait for the American signal crayfish. We've already done the test results for the Turkish narrow claw and they weren't that clever. So we're now back over in Bridge North where I again have tested for uh, the, uh, the using the uh, molasses as bait for the uh, for the uh, American signal crayfish. We've left it now for a week. We're going to go back and check the uh, and check the results. Okay, so without further ado, guys, let's pull those traps in. See what's in there. Okay, guys, first trap using molasses for the Turk the Turkish for the American signal crayfish using molasses. Okay, see what's in here. There's a sponge, pretty dry. Can't see many uh, crayfish in there. Oh, a teller line. There's one. We've got how many in there? Let's have a look. We've got one. That's a decent size one too. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, five. We've got five crayfish in there. Five American signals using molasses as bait. Okay, that's five for trap one. Okay, guys, trap two. How are you? Oh, All right. American signals. Right then, in here, guys, we have. Let's have a little look. Some big ones too. Look at that, lovely. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. I can count in there. So that's six for trap two using molasses. Okay, guys, trap three, molasses, American signals. We have in there one, one crayfish. Okay, not looking too good at the moment for the molasses. That's one out of trap. Uh, three molasses. Okay, guys, trap four. American signals using molasses. What have we got in here? We have one. Here's a big one. <laughs> there he is, right there. Alrighty. Oh no, we've got two. Beg your pardon, there's one there as well. Two. Lovely. Okay. It's two in that trap from four for molasses. Okay guys, trap five, using molasses. See how many's in here. Okay, what we got? We have one, two, three, four, four small ones. Four small ones for the molasses. That's like a trap five on the top leg. Okay. Okay guys, just pulled out the first trap on the bottom leg. That had uh, two crayfish in it. It was just over there in those reeds. I didn't bother to film because like I can say it's all a bit uh, dark and gank over there but this is the, uh, the uh, second trap on the bottom lake this is trap number seven but as you can see here guys that there is bank collapse caused by crayfish erosion as you can see there the extent of the damage that uh, the american signal will cause to banks on uh, on rivers and in fisheries as you can see that's quite a substantial drop they probably lost about maybe two or three feet worth of bank there due to the digging by the american signal so we know the american signal is present in this part of the lake Let's see if there's any in my, uh, in my traps. Let's have a look. Pulling it again one handed. This is again using for molasses. Okay, what's in here? Yeah, we've got a crayfish in there, guys. We've got two. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, it's two for trap seven using molasses. Okay, guys, trap number eight for molasses. See how many's in here? Oh, not very many. As many as I'd hoped for. How many's in there? One, two. Okay, two small crayfish using molasses. Okay. Not, uh, not good. I thought I'd probably get some more than that. But uh, obviously not. Anyway, we're going to be rebating guys using the sticky baits because I haven't got any other, any other bait with me, basically. As you can see there, guys, they're. Uh, Pretty active today. All standing up to attention. Say hello, come on, say hello, say hello. That's it. Wave. Come on. Be close up. <laughs> Alright, let's crack on. Okay guys, that's the uh, haul for today. Not too good. But what I am happy about is to show you is this guy here. As you can see, if I put him on the deck. He is very, very bendy, as you can see. His shell is very, very soft. 
so you can see the reason why that is is because it actually just molted his shell this is the season where the signal will molt their shell so there's another one down there as well that's just done the same thing that one there that's another molted fresh shelled crayfish you can see there the difference in the coloration between that one and that one that means the shell's just uh, just been molted so okay let's just weigh this one up see what's in there very very light this is the for the uh, molasses for the American signal and we have there guys 1.65 kilograms okay not too good okay so uh, molasses for American signal and molasses for Turkish narrow claw big thumbs down from the UK CA guys okay doesn't work don't bother wasting your time okay Hi guys, well as you saw in that video there wasn't a very successful uh, day's trapping for the American Signal crayfish using molasses. We only got 22 crayfish using the molasses on that sponge, uh, about 1.65 kilograms I think it was. Not good guys, okay. So basically molasses and sweet sugar based baits for the American Signal, big thumbs down from the UKCA. Uh, I think we're going to be sticking with the, uh, the, the, uh, the live baits, the, uh, the meat bait based baits for the, uh, for the Signal. But I've also been told by the other angler that cat food, apparently for the American signal, is very good. It didn't work out too well for the uh, for the Turkish narrow claw. Doesn't mean it's not going to work out for the American signal. Like I said in other videos, guys, different types of crayfish go for different types of baits. So another another field research video will be for the uh, for the cat food in those traps when I go back there next week. As you saw in that video, I did use the uh, the krill amo the ammoni krill from Sticky Baits to uh, rebait those traps, basically because I didn't have anything left in the van to. Uh, to rebate but we're going to be using the um the cat food for next time apparently so i've been told as well the cheaper cat food the higher fat content actually gets more more crayfish so that's definitely something we're going to be looking at next time so until next time guys i'm andy mack and you are watching the official channel of the U of the ukca on youtube until next time guys keep it safe keep it great keep it ukca and i'll see you on the next one bye for now